Welcome to the F5 Networks Advanced Web Application Firewall demo series. In this demo, we'll show how to use and enforce attack signatures with Big IP Advanced WEF. This is demo 22 of the AWEF demo series, and it's intended for intermediate level Big IP Advanced WEF users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used to launch several types of application layer attacks. These requests will arrive at the F5 Big IP system, running advanced WEF. The Big IP system sits in front of, and protects, the back-end web application. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request and can block all malicious requests, and prevent them from going to the back-end web servers. First, we'll look at the virtual server for the web application we'll be protecting. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.35. On the virtual server security, policies page, you can see that we already have a security policy attached to this virtual server named 20. Attack Signatures, Security Policy. We'll now open the Security Policy, which we can quickly get to by clicking on Application Security. And we'll now examine the Attack Signatures page. There are currently over 2200 attack signatures used for negative security violation checking in this security policy. Next, we'll open the General Settings page and then scroll down to the Server Technologies field. We use this option to define the type of web application being protected by the security policy. Big IP Advanced WEF will add additional attack signatures specific to the server technology type. For example, we'll add the Apache Tomcat server technologies. We're notified that two signature sets will be assigned to the policy. We'll also add MySQL. PHP. And Unix slash Linux. Let's return to the attack signatures page. There are now over 3100 attack signatures used for negative security violation checking. Next, we'll open the learning and blocking settings page. And then expand the attack signatures section. The security policy includes generic detection signatures. In addition, it now includes the custom signatures that apply to our web application, which we just configured. We can assign additional signature sets to the security policy. We'll add the command execution, cross-site scripting, and SQL injection signature sets. We can now see all the attack signatures assigned to this security policy. We'll also change the signature accuracy option to low accuracy. And then save the page. Once more, let's return to the Attack Signatures page. There are now over 4400 attack signatures used for negative security violation checking for the security policy. Notice that they are all in staging, which means that they will not be enforced by Big IP Advanced WEF. We'll now apply the policy. Next will submit several attacks against the DVWA web application. We'll start with a couple command execution attacks. With this command, we've exposed the contents of the Etsy directory on the web server. With this command, we've now exposed the contents of the password file on the web server. 
Using command execution, malicious users can retrieve confidential files on the web server, or run arbitrary commands on the target host operating system. Next, we'll attempt to couple SQL injection attacks. SQL injection attacks are meant to trick a database server. For example, this SQL injection attack tricks the database server into returning all the user accounts in the database. This SQL injection string is more sophisticated. It tricks the database server into sending much more data. You can see that for each record we can see the first and last name, their user account, and then a hashed version of the user's password. A successful SQL injection exploit can read sensitive data from the application database, modify database data, or even delete data or the entire database. Finally, we'll attempt a few cross-site scripting attacks. Cross-site scripting attacks enable users to exploit user input fields by inserting scripts that can perform any number of functions. For example, this cross-site scripting attack displays a dialog box which can display whatever text the malicious user wants it to say. This script places a link on the web page, pointing to where the malicious user wants to send victims. This last cross-site scripting attack uses encoding, which is a common method malicious users utilize to attempt to bypass web application security systems. Cross-site scripting is a powerful exploit because a hacker can insert script code into the database. When legitimate users access a web page that references the database record, their device is susceptible to the malicious content. We'll now examine the traffic learning page. In the Enforcement Readiness Summary section, we can see there are 41 signatures that are not enforced, and have suggestions. We can click this link, which navigates us to the Attack Signatures page, with only the triggered signatures selected. These attack signatures need to be enforced, so that Big IP Advanced WEF will block requests that match the signatures. We'll select all 41 signatures, and then click Enforce, and then select to enforce all selected signatures. The attack signatures page has a filter option which enables us to view all attack signatures that have been enforced. We'll now apply the policy. Let's use the web application and attempt the attacks again. The command execution attack is now blocked by the Big IP Advanced WEF security policy. Let's now attempt one of the SQL injection attacks. This SQL injection attack is also blocked by Big IP Advanced WEF. Finally, We'll attempt a couple of the cross-site scripting attacks. Both attempts are blocked including the attempt at trying to hide the attack string by encoding the malicious script within the request. Let's examine the blocked requests in the Big IP Advanced WEF event log. First, we'll filter the log files to view only blocked log entries. This request matched two attack signatures, and the event log displays each matched signature. 
We can also view the violation rating, and attack type, which in this case is a command execution attack. This blocked request match date attack signatures. Notice in the decoded request section, that Big IP Advanced WERF was able to decode the encoded request, which enabled it to then detect that it contained a cross-site script attack signature. Next, let's submit a different attack string in the web application. This attack uses an iframe script, which can place a frame of another web page, onto the current web page. This attack is successful. Do you know why? Let's return to the traffic learning page. And then select the link for signatures that are ready to be enforced. We can then select both signatures. And then enforce both signatures. We'll then submit the attack string again. Now that this attack signature is enforced, this iframe based cross site scripting attack is now blocked by Big IP Advanced Worth. Thank you for watching this demonstration on using and enforcing attack signatures with F5 Big IP Advanced Worth. We encourage you to watch additional AWF demos. And for more details on how Advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Networks Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.